So next we're gonna dive deep into digital SY bits. So this is a really cool machine. I'm gonna show you an overview first of how it works and then I'm gonna create a patch, which is gonna be a pluck patch. And then you are going to create your own pluck patch as well. So let's take a look at the synth bits machine. So this is a digital machine. I'm on track five at the moment. If I double click the synth page, you can see there it's the first one within the synth section. Uh, let's just go over the parameters and then again in the next module i will create a patch using this machine so we'll go for the easy stuff first overdrive tune in you know that by now the balance of this one goes between noise and the oscillator we can also detune the second oscillator so there's two oscillators it's not just one Let's just maybe create a bit of a detune with that. Um, usual decay. And then where it gets interesting is these two here, which I'll come to in a second. But first, let's take a look at the wave. This is interesting as well because it doesn't snap to waves. It actually glides through them. So you can see there we go from a sine all the way through to a triangle. And then a saw. And then through to a square. Once you get to square after 64, you're able to use pulse width to move uh, the square like this, watch. So to shorten, sorry, narrow the width. So using pulse width. Get that thin kind of turn on the square width. Let's go to a sawtooth while we look at the rest of it. So we've got sample rate reduction. And we've also got bit reduction as well. So this goes from 16 bit all the way through to two bit. And obviously you can combine these two together to get something that's really gritty and computer sounding. Choose out the square. Kind of computer sounding. Um, I love the graphics on this, it's great. Uh, the graphics are really good for this. So let's go ahead and create a melodic pluck sound and sequence using the SY bits. So the first thing I want to do actually is just go maybe to this page and put the second oscillator at the same pitch as the first oscillator, turn the balance over so we're just listening to the oscillator and not the noise. And I might just go for a square this time. And let's just shape it. So we get that kind of pluck sound. Let's just go ahead, same thing again. Let's just come up with a random sequence first and then play around with the settings after. So I'm gonna go for something super melodic this time. change some of these over. Top tip that if you ever kind of like liking the rhythm of something and it's kind of almost there but the emotion's not right or it's not what you're going for, just change a couple of notes like up or down just by a couple of steps and it will really change the uh, the feeling of the, the sequence. Just try moving stuff around as well, see if it works better in a different place. Might sound better with a bit of delay on. Because that'll add extra notes into the sequence as well. Just 
bit of dampening on the deliver. Sounds nice. And what I'm going to do now is go in back into this section. Maybe the sequence, actually, I might try a little trick. Sometimes I'll take a trick, put it on the next one across, and pitch it down or up an octave, like this watch. So if I go... Interesting. So that's a D sharp five. Oh, that's nice. Take a look now at the parameters. Bit of sample rate reduction. Tuning. We could also have different pitches, but I really like that detune. Bit of noise. So we're going for a pluck this time. Try some um, Portamento. Just trying them out on different ones, seeing if they work. That's nice. And then finally, what I'm thinking is maybe the waveform here. You could maybe sequence the uh, the pulse width like this. That's recording now. You can see I've got different steps recorded for each one, so the pulse width's slightly different. And that is pretty much it for that. Sounds quite cool. Again, let's do the little test to see if it works with a kick.
works. Definitely works as like an idea. Okay, you can always play around with that decay as well. Let me show you a little bonus trick actually because that that sounded really nice right so i'll just show you how we can add that in towards the end so if i go to the synth page just a little extra tip here um if i then press function yes on the scale page and then i can make this just this one track 64 in length but then you have to also do the master as well so put that on 64. Hit yes, and now we've got four pages. And what I could do is I can either do it by hand or I can hit record and play at the same time and just do it manually like this, like record it. That's it. Just listen out for the end bit. save that so now it's time to see what you can get out of the sy bits machine and see what pluck patch you can create using it so again feel free to add it to other creations that you've already made during this course and then share it with the rest of us on the discord community